Okay, in this video, I want to do a review or overview of the Berta rotary plow designed for use on Italian two wheel tractors. So, this is the rotary plow. This gray piece is comes with it and it's for it's extra it's for when you don't want to get a full two foot throw of dirt this machine will throw dirt about two feet to the right this is for if you already have established beds or you don't want to interfere with plants you, you could remove this and it comes with a, like a, a safety bar keeps you from getting too close if you were going to break new ground we have these plow shear, shears here there's four of them there's also steel tips that do wear out and are replaceable and you really use it four times before you gotta replace it. It rounds a corner then you just flip it until you use all four of the corners of the rectangle. You can also get replacements, they're not very much. You also have a flap here in the rear. It really just keeps you away from the spinning blades and keeps any dirt that might fling off you. Most of it flings to the right though. You don't really have much rear discharge. Let me show you the underneath of this. All right, here's the working end of this rotary plow made by Berta there, which is a tying company. You have this, this bar here connects to a wheel, which I'll show you that wheel here. This is your depth gauge. Also on the highest setting like it is now, it keeps the blades off the ground is for transport. This is gear driven. The red plug that you see there is for checking the fluid level of the gear oil. As these spin they throw the dirt to the right. This is a single plow model. They also make a double plow that can go either way. It's two, It's much bigger. It's really two sets of plow shares on, on or an axis that you rotate. It's also quite a bit more expensive. So as this spins it removes the dirt and it almost acts like a like a solid piece of plow, it just folds the dirt over. It'll take this dirt or this grass and put it upside down. It's good for breaking the field. There's no double passing needed on this like you would on a rotary tiller. This shiny area that you see here, that actually it has an edge here, so when weeds and grass get caught around the the plow shares it gets cut off so you don't have a problem of grass binding up and bogging down your machine which is a really nice feature because usually you're using this to break new ground that has grass and weeds and other stuff on it. The tips are replaceable these steel tips and also these yellow flashes are replaceable. This is what was used if you saw my Griot 107 review this is what was used to break that field. This is less violent when a tiller, than a tiller when you hit a large rock or a, a piece of buried wood. And it actually, it actually will remove a basketball sized rock out of the ground without damage to the machine. And then you have your flap here just for rear protection. You can adjust the depth of how this assembly sits by a bolt on the top and I'll show you that. Right, so here's the top of the unit. This is your adjusted bar that will adjust the depth of your plowshares. I left it on factory, which is at that setting. You also have your safety information and your requirements for wheel spacing. Now, my, if you saw my Griot video, I got a, l a larger size tire than factory. If you were to have the factory size tire on the 107D, you would need to get axle extensions in order to use this implement. It requires a, a wider base. And up top you also have your manufacturer information. This unit weighs 43 kilos. The way this one attaches, take a look here, is it just attaches with that quick disconnect feature, which on some implements, such as the flail mower, you have to have the quick disconnect feature. So there is the top of the unit.
All right, to use this implement, you have to run your first groove, and then on the second pass, you put your right tire in that groove and you get your full depth. As you see, the first groove is never that deep. The tractor, and you, see, and you also can see this implement's kind of tilted. You get in the right tire in that groove, it, it makes it lay flat. All right, so now we have our first pass, our first groove in, our right tire is in it. So this next pass, we'll get a bigger depth on our plow. So let's start it back up and do the second pass. Come behind the machine, you can see how the, the tractor is tilted, but now the implement levels out a little bit. And we're getting a good pass. And all that grass that's where it was before is now under underneath. So it flips the dirt all the way over, which is nice for getting rid of the, the grass weeds and stuff. straight because then your right wheel guides it and you stay on track. Let's do the last and the third pass. You see that piece of wood I hit? It really wasn't that mild. 